In this lesson, we want to review applications of linear equations and look at percent problems. So when we're in our section on applications of linear equations, again, we can use a little six step procedure to get a solution for our word problem. So for solving a word problem, again, the first step is just to read the problem and determine the question or questions to be answered. Then the next step is to assign a variable to represent the unknown. Again, with these type of problems, you're gonna express other unknowns in terms of this variable. Then we're gonna write an equation that expresses the situation we're given, right? Based on the scenario and the problem. Then we're gonna solve that equation. Then we're gonna write the answer in terms of the question or again, questions asked. And then lastly, and most importantly, we're gonna check the answer using the words of the problem. We always wanna make sure that our answer is reasonable. All right, so for solving percent word problems, it's a very easy case scenario. It's one of the easiest types of problems that you deal with when you're talking about applications of linear equations, okay? So essentially, as long as you understand how to convert between a decimal and a percentage, you're basically good to go, okay? So we have that Kristen works as a cashier for a local clothing store. After a busy shift, she had a total of $16,277.17 in receipts. So this amount included the 8.5% state and local sales taxes. Now, if the sales tax rate had been 10%, how much would she have collected in state and local sales taxes? So this is what we need to figure out. Again, if the sales tax rate had been 10%, in this problem, it was 8.5. So if it had been 10%, how much would she have collected in state and local sales taxes? So that's what we need to find out. So to attack this problem, it's very, very simple. You have two amounts that you're gonna work with. The first amount is the $16,277.17 in receipts. And the second amount is the 8.5% state and local sales taxes. So think about what this means. She's got this amount in total receipts. So it included the state and local sales tax, okay? So think about this. You have a pre-tax amount of goods sold. So you have some pre-tax amount of the goods sold, plus you have the taxes that are collected. And when we sum these two amounts together, we get this value here, this $16,277.17. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let a variable like X equal the pre-tax amount of all the goods sold. So let's go down and I'm just gonna say we're gonna let X be equal to the pre tax amount of goods sold, okay? So again, if I go back to what I wrote there, I said that the pre-tax amount, which we labeled as X, right? This will now be X, plus the tax amount, which how can we get that? Well, if she sold X amount of goods and the tax is 8.5%, well, then all I have to do is multiply 8.5% times that pre-tax amount, right, which is X. Now you do that as a decimal. So 8.5% as a decimal is 0 0.085. So plus 0 0.085 times X. That would give me my 16,277.17. So it's very easy to get our equation. Let me kind of arrow that up there. And I'm just gonna copy this because it's kind of busy here. So let me remove that from here. And let me just kind of throw that down here so we can just get some thought processes going. And we see that again, the pre-tax amount is X plus the tax amount, which is 0 0.085, which again is 8.5% as a decimal times X, which is the pre-tax amount that gives me the tax. You sum those two amounts together. And again, you get our total receipts, which is $16,277.17. So on the left side, I can just sum this, right? So this is basically one X plus 0 0.085x, so this would be 1.085x. Let me make that eight a little better. And again, this is equal to this $16,277.17. Now, if I want x by itself, just divide both sides by 1.085. Again, over here, 1.085. I'm gonna do that with a calculator, and I'm gonna end up with x is equal to 15,002, okay? So let me erase everything other than my X. Okay, I don't need any information anymore because I basically found what I need. The pre-tax amount of goods sold. So this is $15,002, okay? 
Now, it doesn't ask us for this information in the problem. We go back up. It specifically says if the sales tax rate had been 10%, how much would she have collected in state and local sales taxes? So they don't care that it's $15,002 in sales pre-tax, right? They don't care about that at all. They want to know, again, if the sales tax rate had been 10%, what would she have collected in state and local sales taxes? So I would just multiply this by 0 0.10. That's 10% as a decimal. That's very easy to do. I just moved my decimal point one place to the left. So you would have $1,500.20, okay? So $1,500.20, that's going to be your answer. So I'll say she would have collected. So it's going to be $1,500 and then 20 cents. Okay, so she would have collected $1,500.20. And you can put in, I'm just going to put sales taxes. So sales taxes. Okay, so to check this is pretty easy. If she had $16,277.17 in total receipts, and again, this included the 8.5% state and local sales taxes. Well, if I started with, again, the $15,002 in pre-tax goods sold, if I added in the 8.5% tax on that, one way that I could do that is I could multiply 15,002 by 1.085. Okay, and that would give me the 16,277.17. So that part would check out. Now, I know that it's $15,002, okay, that's pre-tax goods sold. Again, if the sales tax rate had been 10%, well, all you gotta do is move the decimal point one place to the left, okay, to multiply by 0.1, 10% as a decimal, and you would end up with this $1,500.20, again, in sales taxes. Okay, so our answer here is correct. Again, she would have collected $1,500.20 in sales taxes. All right, let's take a look at another one. So we have here that James took a few friends to lunch and paid a total of $141.45, including sales tax and tip. If the state and local sales taxes were 8% and he gave a 15% tip on the pre-tax amount, what was the price of his lunch before tax and tip? So this problem sets up in a similar way. But what we want to find out is what was the price of his lunch before tax and tip? So before he gave the tax and the tip, what would the amount have been? So again, just like the last problem, we have a pre-tax, pre-tip amount, or we could say the original amount of the food. So the original amount. Then you have plus the tax and then plus the tip, and this equals this 141.45. So let's bring this down to a fresh sheet. So the original amount, I'm just gonna call that X. So let X be the original amount of the food. Okay, this is before tax or tip. So if I have X plus my tip and plus my tax, again, I'm gonna get this 141.45. So we said that the tax, if we go back up, was 8% and the tip is 15%. So the tax, again, is 8%. So that's 0 0.08 times X, right? That's 8% as a decimal, 0 0.08. Again, multiply that by X. That's going to give you the tax. Okay, and again, this is the original amount. Or you could say pre-tax, pre-tip amount, whatever you want to do. Then plus, I've got to get my tip. And the tip is 15% of the original amount. So that's 0.15, which is 15% as a decimal, times X. So this is your tip. So this equals, you've got your 141.45. If I sum everything on the left, just combine like terms, what's going to happen is I'll have 1X plus 0.08X plus 0.15X. So 1 plus 0.08 plus 0.15 is going to be 1.23 and then times X, and again, this equals 141.45, divide both sides of the equation by 1.23, and what are we gonna get? We're gonna get that X is equal to 115, okay? So that was the price of his food before, again, the tax and the tip. So we'll say that James's lunch was $115 
before tax and tip, okay? And again, pretty easy to check this. If you think about the $115 before tax and tip. So if he had $115, his tip would have been what? It would have been 15% of that. So 15% of 115 is 17.25. So you'd have 115 plus 17.25, that's your tip. And then plus your sales tax, that's 8%. If you did 8% of 115, you would get 9.2. So if you add those three amounts together, you will get the 141.45, okay? So that tells us our solution here is correct. James's lunch, again, was $115 before tax and tip. All right, let's take a look at one more problem. Again, these are very, very easy problems. So Evelyn works as a sales floor associate at a local hardware store. She receives a weekly salary of $800, along with an 11% commission on all of her sales. So last week, she earned $1,350 from her salary and commission. What is the dollar amount of the merchandise that she sold? So this is what we're trying to find out. What is the dollar amount of the merchandise that she sold? Okay, pretty easy. So again, she receives a weekly salary of $800, and she gets an 11% commission on all of her sales. Okay. Again, last week, this is what she earned. She earned $1,350. So the key to understanding this is that she's going to get that $800 as a salary, no matter if she sells $0 or a million dollars. Okay, it doesn't matter. She's getting a weekly salary plus commission. So if she got $1,350, I need to subtract the $800 away to find out what her commission was. So I would do 1,350, again, the total amount she got, minus the $800, which is kind of the salary or the set amount she gets no matter what. So if we subtract this away, this comes down, five, borrow here, 13 minus eight is five. So she's got $550 from commission. So $550 from commission, okay? So how much was her commission rate? Again, it was 11%, okay? So it's 11% for the commission rate. So what this means is that she has some amount of goods sold. Let's just say it's X. So let X be equal to the amount of goods sold, okay, by her. So if I take X and I multiply it by 11%, that would give me the amount of commission she made, which we know is $550. So as a decimal, 11% is 0.11. So 0.11, then times X, again, the amount of goods she sold, should be equal to $550. Okay, that's, again, the amount of commission she received. If I divide both sides of the equation by 0.11, I'm going to get that X is equal to 5,000. Okay, so this is what she sold in merchandise, okay? If she sold $5,000 worth of stuff and she got an 11% commission on it, she would get $550 in commission. You can check that in your head. 5,000 times 11% is 550. Again, that's what we said she got in commission. So let's go ahead and write our solution as a sentence. Let's change my marker here. And I'll say that she sold... $5,000 worth of merchandise. If you want to check this, it's pretty easy. You can check it almost in your head if you wanted to. Again, she got a total of $1,350 from her salary and commission. It says right here that her salary was $800. Okay, so again, take the salary out. That's going to give you $550 that she got from commission. Now, if she sold $5,000 worth of merchandise and she gets an 11% commission, again, you can check that really quickly and say, okay, well, 5,000 times 0.11 would give you 550. So our answer here is correct. Again, she sold $5,000 worth of merchandise.